Hi everyone, welcome back to my next video. Uh, today, as you can see, we're with my old friend Tim. Hi Tim. Hi Bob. And we're going to give you an update, a long-term review of the Dokio solar panels. Um, they're so cheap that I, I've been really hopeful that they would be a really good solution for those of us on a really tight budget that need some solar. And so, uh, what was it, two years ago now, Tim, that you it was got about it? two years ago, yes, sir. About two years ago, I had bought a, a, a several brands and to test. One of them was the Dokio 200, and you got the Dokio 200 to test. That is correct. And um, how did that go? It went good. It, it, it supplied me with the power that I needed for my CPAP, as long as I had uh, the sunlight out you know, during the day. Uh, but I really did have trouble with the sun tearing the panels up. Uh, they became unreliable due to the SA2 connectors and just the, the, the material around them coming apart. Yeah. Uh, you know, I, I, if I spend $320, say, for this panel, I expect it to last a couple of years, not just nine months. You know, and that's the most I've gotten out of one of these so far. Uh, this is my third one, and Dokio has warranted it for me, but uh, the sun really just tears them apart. So you had the 200 watt. No, you ended up giving that away. I gave it away to uh, another gentleman uh, with Hawa, and then I bought this myself shortly after the van build. And I had these panels individually drop out one by one. I kept on dropping down 25% of total output until I got down to just one panel. And I called up Dokio, and they said, okay, we'll send you another one. And that happened twice so far. Uh, and now I keep this away for an emergency, and I don't use it daily. So... Well, it's a mi kind of a mixed review then. So you've had three different sets. Uh, how about your friend who you gave the 200 to? Is his still holding up, do you know? Uh, that I don't know. I haven't talked Talk to him to since, the, uh, since the van build. When you gave it to him, it was still working okay? Absolutely. Okay. So you've owned, this is your third set. This is my third set. And uh, the, the middle set just failed, and then you got this as a replacement. And right. this one is... Still work all together working? Uh, this one is all together working, and I have it on emergency use only for myself. Uh, but I've come to the conclusion myself that I'm just going to use hard panels. They last longer. Right. Uh, more efficiency also, too. Right. Well, 200 watts in hard panel will be more efficient than 200 watts in flexible panel. Absolutely. And and just looking at it, you can see that the sun is not is doing bad, bad things. It is. And this really hasn't been used that much. This has really only been put out four or five times. Right. And you can see that the, it's coming apart. Four or five times, and it looks terrible. It does. It's fraying everywhere. Yeah, it... Um, so, okay, <laughs> what's... So, you... Uh, someone's out there, they're thinking, boy, the Dokios are such a good deal. I'm going to buy them. Would you, after your experience, would you say, yes, go ahead and buy a Dokio? Uh, no, I really can't recommend them. I mean, if you're going to spend money and a lot of us nomads are on set budgets, we really need our money to go far. And I know people need them in their van because they're small and light, but if they're going to stop working on you, what's the use of having them? You know, you know, as, as light as they are, if they don't work, you know, why yeah, bother? Right. So, uh, I'm not, we're not going to extrapolate from this to say that all the, the, uh, folding ones are bad because uh we'll just have to test that out too but we're pretty safe to say now these are going to be a problem i think that uh, is they are good. and i would hate to tell somebody you know these are 320 dollars for the complete kit uh and i had them last as little as nine months and then they were completely out of out of service so i guess it's entirely up to you but i expect more for my money Right, and just looking at the condition of this thing, it, it's not holding up. The whole point is to put this out in the sun, yep. and obviously the sun is destroying it. Yeah, and then if you you know if you want to if you want to angle these to the sun, the wind catches them really easily. You know you got to tie these down really good. Right, and then you're laying them flat, which kind of defeats part of the purpose. Yep. And uh, yeah, it just doesn't look good at all. So uh, that's just a long-term review, and we are not saying. None of the folding panels are any good. We're saying uh, our experience with the Dokio has been bad, and you probably should not buy one. Yeah, That's what well, I'm saying. Well, Tim, uh, 
I'm sorry this worked out so badly for you. You got them as an emergency, and if you really oh, yeah, have yeah. to have power, they're there. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. And, and these will work in an emergency situation, uh, or somebody that you know that has them given to them. Uh, but uh, I wouldn't spend my own money on them. Right. That's the bottom line. That's the bottom line. Uh, and we both and we found initially too that the uh, the the solar controller that comes with it is crap. It is, and uh, now they've updated them to where they're. Uh, a uh, different type of proprietary connector. Uh, so right out of the uh, charge controller, you have to use their connectors. So I found that a problem too. Right. You know, and even though the SA2 connectors aren't really good that they come with, I modified mine with MC4 connectors and they work much better, but the panel themselves are subject to quality. Right. So, uh, that's it. That's the bottom line. The Dokio is just not something we are going to recommend that you spend your money on. Uh, it, and it's kind of it's kind of those things you get what you pay for and too good to be true. Exactly. Or they're just not uh, at the technology we need them to be yet. Right. Uh, so there you have it, folks. Thanks so much, Tim, for <laughs> putting up with this and doing all the work. Thank you, Bob. <laughs> so, folks, uh, I hope you've learned something from this that helps you out if you were, were considering Dokios or if you know a friend who's considering Dokios, you might pass the word on. These, um, they're not going to hold up and give you the service you really, really want. Although, to be fair, their, their customer service was good. The product just is not. Absolutely. The customer service was really good, and they, they bent over backwards to get me new panels. But they called them updated panels, but they really weren't. You know, not enough, at least. And, and when these fail, which they're going to, uh, you know, how many often will they keep doing that? They're, yeah. going, they're going to reach the limit, and they say, well, we're not sending you another one. You've done it, Your warranty's up, if nothing else. Yeah, I found with these panels, if I cut them into four panels and just run two lines from each one, I have four 75-watt panels. Because I found the wires are breaking in between here. Oh, uh, so, so it's the wires in here. Yeah, so uh, these, this will end up as four 75-watt panels down the road. Well, how do you find an output wire? You just uh, you cut got, this out. They're, they're, they're on one. that end, the side with the connector, and you cut through it. And then you just take your two wires and isolate them. Just wire it yourself. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's good to know. That's good to know. Yeah. So if you, I mean, you can always reuse them. Us nomads are putting panels everywhere. So. Right. Yeah, that 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 makes it better than terrible. <laughs> slightly, <laughs> it's better than throwing them away. Slightly better than terrible. <laughs> <laughs> oh. So Tim, thank you so much for uh, your information and your service with these. Thank Appreciate you, Bob, it. for letting me try all them out. Uh, so there you have it, folks. I hope you got something out of this video. If you did, like us on YouTube, subscribe to the channel, hit that thumbs up button, and we'll talk to you later. Bye now. <music>